Hey boys, it's Harm Nan. Today we're customizing the long-awaited Bravado Gauntlet Interceptor. Let's go ahead and uh, get started with the customization and the review that we're going to be doing on this as well. Um, go ahead and leave a like on this video if you guys enjoy it, of course. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just throw on all the performance modifications onto this vehicle. So turbo, transmission, engine, armor, brakes, all that sort of stuff. Um, next up, we got the bumpers. For the bumpers, we have the same sort of things you can do to the regular Hellfire, actually, which is kind of odd. Um, or you can go for a secondary front bumper. That's really strange. I was kind of expecting different modifications, should I say? I don't know. That's kind of interesting, though. Um, I'm going to keep it... I'm gonna keep it in the primary color and I think that I might just keep the stock splitter. I don't really like the extension on there that much. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave that alone actually. And then on the rear of the car, you can of course put the wheelie bar and the chute on, which is pretty neat. Um, not really something that I'm a big fan of, so I'm gonna leave it alone. Uh, as far as the exhausts go, it looks like the regular Hellfire uh, upgrades so far. So I'm gonna go big bore for the exhaust. Looks kinda nice, so we'll do that. We got the grill delete, the secondary grill. We got the black grill. We got the uh, primary open grill. We have the secondary open grill or the black open grill. I'm gonna go for the black open grill. I feel like it's pretty good looking, so we're gonna keep that. Headlight covers, we can put one on, but I'm not gonna do that. It is a cop car, so I feel like that's not something that I'm really, uh, really interested in, so we'll go for that. Um, for the hood, we got the smooth hood here that we can do. Uh, secondary color hood. We also have the carbon hood. We have the primary vented hood, secondary vented. We have the carbon vented Invented, uh, dual filter blower, large filter blower, oval intake bug catcher, uh, triple intake, and that is about it. Honestly, I feel like I kind of want to keep it stock. I really like that, you know, stock look of this, um, so I'm pretty tempted to leave it alone. Um, actually, you know what? I might go for the primary vented hood. I think I will do that just to do something to it, you know? Uh, for the lights, we will go xenon for sure. Um, no neon kits available for this car, which is interesting. Um, and then as far as the liveries go, we do have a ton that we can go for. So we got none, we have LSPD, we have LSPD Modern, we got the LS State Trooper, uh, LS Highway Patrol, LS County Sheriff, LSPD, Richmond PD, uh, we got the Airport PD, Rockford Hills, Del Perro PD, uh, we got the Davis PD Port Authority. That's kind of cool as well. Uh, the Grapeseed Police. That's pretty sweet. Uh, Polito Bay PD. Uh, LSPD Light. We got LS State Trooper Light. We got the Highway Patrol. That's pretty cool. We got the Sheriff as well. Um, light. And then we got LSPD Stealth. We got LS Highway Patrol Stealth. Um, LS County Sheriff Stealth. Then we got the LSPD drag team. That's a really cool livery actually. And then there's the race team as well. Those are both really cool options to have. I like that they did that. Um, as far as the livery that I'm gonna go for, I think it's gonna have to be either the sheriff or the highway patrol. Um, actually, there was another really cool one there that I did see before and it was the LS County Sheriff or of course uh, the LS Highway Patrol. I might actually go LS Highway Patrol today. I think I, ooh, except I don't really like how it looks on the wide body there. Um, but the State Trooper says the same thing, so that's kind of annoying. Maybe County Sheriff. We'll go County Sheriff. Let's do that one. Police Equipment. Now this is all the same stuff that we got on the LE Cruiser, which is pretty cool. So we got the tech arrays and stuff that we can put on the car, uh, which is pretty neat. Um, I think that I will be going for one of these. I just don't know which one. I think probably the tech array 6.0 i like that search lights um i'm definitely a fan of the search lights i think that i will go for the raised dual search lights emergency lighting uh we got a couple different ones we can go for here um i'm gonna keep stock i think i think it's the best looking one um yeah i'm gonna keep it stock push bar so we have a few different ones this thing does have a push bar on the regular hellfire that you can put on it uh but it looks different than uh, than all of these ones do so i think i'm gonna go for the interceptor push bar since this is the interceptor of course so we'll do that rear panel we can do that in primary secondary carbon black surround and plating primary or secondary surround and plating i'm gonna leave it alone honestly i feel like it looks really good um, as far as the color goes, we could go for a like Blaine County um, build, which I actually think could be really cool. So I think that's actually what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go ice white uh, for both the primary and the secondary, of course. Roll cage, not a big fan of it. I don't think I'm going to put it in. I don't think it really makes much sense. Uh, we can also put the carbon roof on this thing, which is kind of cool too. 
skirts um i think that i will just keep it stock to match up with the primary uh or with the front and rear bumpers i should say spoilers we definitely need to put one on here and i think that i'm going to maybe put on the plastic lip spoiler or of course we do have a bunch of different options we got the drag spoiler we got so many different things we can put on here i think that secondary though like it's going to give us the traction bonus as you can see um and it's still the same color so i'm going to go for that uh for the suspension this thing, you know, it is a police car, so I think I'm actually going to leave it stock. Uh, as far as the wheels go, I'm not actually even going to touch the actual wheels, but I will put on the bulletproof tires. And for the window tint, I will go all the way out on that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and take this thing outside. We're going to do a sound test as well as a full review on the car. So uh, let's just quickly take a listen to this thing to start things off. I feel like it sounds a little bit different than the regular Hellfire. I feel like it's got a slightly like toned down engine sound maybe or exhaust sound. Um, it doesn't feel like it sounds the same. Um, I will also say I do believe from what I've also seen from people like Cone 11 and, and stuff like that that do like the drag races and whatnot. Um, I think that this thing actually gets a much better launch than the regular Gauntlet Hellfire and it accelerates quicker in its first couple of gears but then the regular Hellfire actually has a higher top speed. So that's pretty interesting. Um, now as far as driving this thing goes I will say it it is stock suspension, so that could also be throwing me off, but I will say I, th I feel like it handles ever so slightly better than the regular Hellfire. Oh, it totally does. What? Wait a minute. This thing can turn. <gasps> That's crazy. I can't really get this thing to spin out. I'm, I'm giving it like full input to, to either side right now, and it is really not wanting to spin out the same way that the Hellfire does, and I'm under full throttle as well. So... This thing handles a lot better than the regular Hellfire, as you would probably like kind of expect. Um, but I am really happy to actually see that this thing is improved on the Hellfire in terms of handling and stuff like that. So that'll be really cool. Um, I will turn the sirens on as well here so we can see what these look like. Uh, not bad looking. The light bar on the bull bar does actually work as well, by the way, and so do the search lights. That is really, really cool. This thing is actually pretty awesome, guys. I'm not gonna lie. This is really, really sick. Um, I, I'm a big fan of this. Uh, I, I think this is actually, I mean, it's not worth the $5.5 million that it costs, but it certainly is very cool. And you do get some performance improvements over the Hellfire in terms of the handling, at least. Like I said, I think the Hellfire does actually have a higher top speed, but uh, I mean, what are you gonna be doing more often? Traveling at top speed or going around a corner? I mean, you do the math on that. I, I think you're gonna be going around corners a lot more um, than you're gonna be going at top speed. So I think this is actually a really good improvement on the regular Hellfire. And then obviously with all the police stuff on top of it, um, pretty sick i have to say but i do believe technically because this thing has a lot of similar customization if you removed all of like the police stuff i think you could make this thing basically look like an undercover if you wanted to or even damn close to just a regular gauntlet hellfire but it's going to handle a lot better than the gauntlet hellfire so that is pretty cool so do keep that in mind as well because i'm sure we're going to see some pretty interesting builds with the uh, with the hellfire interceptor uh, coming out soon because you're going to be able to build basically just a regular hellfire that's going to handle a lot better uh, using this vehicle as your starting point so pretty cool guys um anyways i hope you enjoyed this customization and review if you did a like is of course appreciated as i said at the start if not dislike subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and i will see you all in the next video until then take care peace